Corral Draw Tips and Tricks with Steve Spence. Today's unit Easy Special Effects Using Text. Brought to you by Conde Systems. The first one that we'll look at is the one that I use the most, and we'll call it Double Text. All we're going to do is literally double the text. We're going to select the text, hit Control D for duplicate, and now we have doubled the text. Now, one of the things you may or may not know at this point is that every time we duplicate something like this, every time we create an object on the screen, it finds its own level. The one we just duplicated is over top of the previous one. Show you what I mean. We'll change the color of it so that it's green and you can see that it lays over top of the other one. And that comes into play because what we're going to do here is just literally double the text. Lay one over top of the other. Now we can dress this up a little bit if we go to our original copy and we create a border around it. We've created a tiny border as you can see. We're going to go over to the outline pen tool and we're going to increase that. Let's take it up to about two points. And just for the sake of showing what we're doing, we will fill the entire background. Remember this is the first one we created in black. Now we can put the colored text over top of it. We can create just a nice outline around it, but the real advantage of doing that uh, comes with, with the outline tool, not with double text. With double text we can offset the outer layer of text so that we get a shadow effect and we can make that as extreme as we want to. Oops, went the wrong way. Let's try that again. There we go. And we can make that as as extreme as we want. We can always go back into the background and we can change the color of it. Um, and remember if you're going to change the color of the background you have to change both the, let's pick a little better color here, both the left and right mouse click in order to get both the outline and the fill of the back layer so that it looks like this. And all we've got now is just two pieces of text, one laying over top of the other. Now before we leave this, one word of caution. If you're going to edit the text, you're going to have to edit it twice. You will have to edit the top copy and the back copy to match and then put them back together. Sometimes you can just click on it and do it that way but it's easier usually just to separate them and do it separately. So editing text becomes something of an issue if you've got lots and lots of text that has to be changed this is probably not a good way to do it. But if this is a title line or something where it's not going to change it's a nice way to get an interesting effect. Okay, double text. Oh, one last thing. Last thing you should do with this is group it. Why? Because if you don't, it's going to, as sure as the world, get separated and then you'll always be putting it back together. This way it moves as one unit and you can do, of course, anything you want to with it just like you can any other text. Okay, let's look at another. Now the next special effect we'll consider is even simpler than the previous one. We're going to call this the outline effect and we're going to select the text then we're going to go over to our color palette and we're going to do a right click on whatever color suits you. In this case we're going to use black and you can see that it has put an outline around the text. When text is brought into CorelDRAW by whatever means it never has an outline. It is always just a fill. So you can always add an outline 
and you can make it as dramatic as you want by going to the outline pen tool and just increasing the amount of outline. You can get absurd with it like this or you can tone it back to something a little more reasonable. In this case that's about as far as we can go without making it look really goofy. But let me show you something that's very important. When we're talking about putting an outline on a text, what is happening is the outline is such that half of it is on the front of the text and half of it is above it. Now that's important. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. We're going to select this text and then we're going into the outline pen tool and we're going to go into the master window and down here we have a little box to check and we're going to tell it to do behind fill and while we're here we're also going to tell it to scale with the object and click OK. Now you'll notice that instantly the outline is only half as thick as it was just a moment ago. If we zoom out, you can see that what was pretty crowded now looks really good. And that's because half of the outline color is now behind the fill color. It's not showing. Now this is just a, a simple trick, but it can drive you crazy if you're not aware of it. We also checked while we were there scale with image. And this is important because when we outline text and we scale it way down, let's zoom in so you can see, it looks exactly the same as it did before. But if we didn't do that, if we had not scaled that with image, what would have happened is the text would have been, re been reduced in size, but the outline would have stayed the same. Let me show you. We'll go to the Outline Pen tool again, and this time we'll tell it, Do not scale with image. Now when we reduce it, just like we did a minute ago, look what has happened to the nice piece of text that we had. It's just terrible. So we're going to undo. We will tell it we want it to scale with image. And now we'll zoom out so you can see what happens when we reduce it this time. Ah, we're back to what we had before. A nice looking piece of text. So that's the outline method of creating text and doing a special effect. We can change colors, we can mix them, match them any way we want to, we can always do that, and we can use special fills as well. We'll talk more about this when we talk about fill tool, but just to give you an idea, we'll go to a fill. This is a fountain fill. This is a pattern fill, and we'll just tell it that pattern is fine, and you can see, whoops, it did some strange things there, didn't it? But we can change the fill on it. Let's try that again. See what it's doing here. Oh. We'll tell it we want a texture fill, and we'll pick just any color at random, and there you are. So we'll talk more about fills in another session, but just so that you know you can do that, there you go. Now, let's talk about another method 